Hey people, Sylvia Slime back on Exile 3 Ruined World by Spiderweb Software. I love this game. I really do. Alright, so I'm just about finished with what I can actually do in Upper Exile. For at least now. As you cross the bridge, you hear a female voice. Erica has decided you are not welcome. Please turn back now. You notice that no matter how long you walk, you don't seem to be getting any closer to the end of the bridge. You turn back. Alright. It's like... Every time I play this game... I need to... Return, like, numlock on and off for some reason. I, I do not know why. Anyway, uh, one thing you'll note here is uh, there's no longer a gap between the uh, the game and the uh, my little buttons off on the side. Uh, because this game runs in like a DOS emulator, uh, I have no ability to like resize the screen or anything along those lines, uh, which is sort of unfortunate. But you know, it is the way it is. Let's have you go after the warrior here. Ooh, nice hits. Nice hits. So anyway, uh, that makes some, like, weird issues with the game. Uh, because I can't resize it, and I guess the game was designed for non-widescreen monitors. So here we are, essentially. Huh, two helmets. One of them that weighs slightly less than the other ones. Just enough cat. So I stretched out the screen of the game a little bit on the uh, my recording program. And this is the end result of that. What do we got in here? You know, I vaguely remember this spot. And I vaguely remember the there's nothing unique about the spot. Or no. I, you know, I really don't. I was gonna say, I think uh, what makes that spot unique is the fact that um, some monsters that don't spawn anywhere else can spawn in there. But I could be wrong. Whoops. Well, so much for blessings. A little bit annoying right now. I mean, I probably don't need the blessing, but still. Let's just use it anyway. I mean, I definitely could have fought them without the blessing. But the blessing does make things go significantly faster. If only because of the haste effect. And the haste effect is amazing. Alright, wait. There we go. Alright, wait, wait. Kitty, get up there. 20 damage, not bad. Uh, Jack could have attacked twice if I had realized that before I made the second step. There we go. Everybody's dead. Whoops, not the right button. Oh, hey, a breastplate. Oh, hey, that weighs a bunch. Kitty? Alright, not Kitty. Sylvius. Alright, not Sylvius. Jack? Alright, not Jack. Gandalf. Alright, Gandalf. Good man. Yeah, I think you can encounter some form of bat in here, if I remember correctly. Not that that's, like, you know, noteworthy in any sense. <clears throat> but yeah, you can find bats in here, if I remember correctly. And there's a good chance that I don't. At least, I'm, I think there's nothing in here? There might be, like, a hidden dungeon here. I like that the ogres run for me. They don't fight me. Yep. Alright, so there's nothing in here. So, bats. That won't fight me. Sick. Let's... I just gotta go over here and clear up some of the black on the map. Ooh, hey, the ogres fought me. And these guys, I can... I can actually fight these dudes without a bless, so let's do that. Just to kind of compare what my actual combat potential is. Oh, there's only, f what, 
four ogres and one slith, so it's not like we've got a huge uh, team right here. But who leveled up? Sylvia's leveled up. Good job, Sylvia's. Alright. I think... Mm. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. I gotta get some new equipment, which means going back to that uh, pawnbroker back in Stormport, I think it was called. Did I...? I did not kill them all. <laughs> Look, one of them was still alive, and I wasn't paying any attention. There we go. Well, good thing I don't want that stone club. Alright. So there's just one part of uh, Upper Exile that I have no longer, or I have not explored yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ogres run from me. So yeah, we're gonna go back to the surface. We are going to get my items identified, sell what we can, uh, go back to Kryzen. Should I do that? Hard to say. Hard to say. What should I actually be doing here? You know, here's what we're going to do, alright? We're going to sell my stuff, or we're going to identify my stuff. Let's close this real quick. What I right. Zipoke, basic necklace, is a fang necklace. What's that do? Blesses occasionally. That's not great. Bronze short sword. Magic buckler. That could probably be worth some decent money right there. Shield? Steel shield, not bad. Cursed helm is pretty bad. Razor discs. Iron razor discs. Crossbow. Fine crossbow is actually not bad. An Iron Helm is nice. Cursed Helm is slightly less nice. Two Crystals. Medium Poison. Bronze Hammer. Iron Slit Spear. Bronze Flail. Asp Gloves. What do they do? Uh, I think Asp Gloves might just randomly poison the user, if I remember correctly. Weak Strength Potion. Medium Curing Potion. Iron Hammer. Bronze Wave Blade. Nothing super great there. Leather gloves. Iron studded leather. Which is not bad. Bronze buckler is kind of bad. Javelins. Lightning rods. Those are fancy javelins. They deal fire damage, I think, if I remember correctly. Steel mace. And that was a bronze breastplate. The bronze breastplate is slightly less awesome, considering how much it weighs, but it'll still sell for a pretty penny. Alright, so we're going to go back to Kryzen. And we're going to pick up some jobs, I think. I was going to do another trading run. Uh, you know, the, like, trade good run. But I did promise myself that I was only going to do that once, so only once it is. Uh, I'm walking to trees. So we're going to Kryzen, pick up some jobs, do those jobs. And then we'll run from there. But for starters, we need to go find somebody I can sell all this junk to. Yeah, dude, I hate when they start opening up the doors. Oh, you know what? I want to do while I'm here, too. I want to go see if that dude is in that room yet. Alright, sell. Zipope, the Fang Necklace, 375, not bad. Bronze Short Sword was worth the same as I uh, took me to identify it. Huge profit on the buckler and that, though. Crystal Helmet is a loss. Worm Grass is nice. We'll keep the Razor Discs, sell the Crossbow, sell the Iron Helm, this junk here. Kitty, sell your Poison. Junk, not bad. Junk. Asp Gloves are basically junk. Crude Shield is junk. These potions aren't bad, though. Iron Hammer, Bronze Wave Blade, Leather Gloves, Iron Sudded, keep the Perfect Flower. Bronze Buckler's Junk. Just sell the Lightning Rods, I don't care. Bronze Blast Plate, 75 gold. Lame! Alright. So I got a decent amount of cash now. I made just under 2k. Just under. Alright. 
you know, let's see if he uh, says anything about what I've done so far. Mission, I think I want to say. You report what you found. He shakes his head. You still haven't eliminated the true source of all the slimes. Keep searching. All right. Well, what a hobag. All right, let's talk to this wonderful lady. Nightmare of Sharmik. Nope. Lost Isle in Carnal Providence. I don't know where Carnal Providence is, but let's go with now. Okay, Shift W. Okay, it was Shift W. Bye. Ah, Miko, last known in Bolton. That's one we can do. We need somebody to deliver an incredibly urgent message to Churdan, the innkeeper of Delan. It's kind of in the opposite direction, but we'll take it. It is slightly annoying that I need to be, uh... out of her talk thing to be able to refresh it. Moon? No. Fenris Port? No. Golddale? All right, we can do this Goldale one. So, um, Delan is to the never eat soggy weenies to the west. Goldale's to the north east here, and then Bolton, I believe, is kind of to the east. So we'll go like a triangle. So far is the plan. All right, talk. We need something to deliver greatly needed supplies to loot. Nope. Nope. Trevino? Nope. Uh, I keep wanting to hit con uh, Control W, and I forget exactly what Control W does, but I know it's not what I want. Black Shade. Now, Black Shades aren't actually all that hard to find, although I think they would kill me right now if I tried to engage one. Especially since they always come with other unpleasant things, but the person they wanted uh, me to deliver it to was no way I was going to survive to get to him. I don't know where the town of Kalak is, but killing a warg is pretty easy. Nope. Alright, come on. Let's get something here. Slay a skeleton and take its prodigy to High Priest Anor. See, skeletons aren't hard to... Well, actually, skeletons can be sort of hard to find, because I don't think summons count. Come on. Deliver incredibly or nope. <laughs> Somebody slay a naga. Nope. I don't know where Kalak is still. Porter's retreat? Alright, we can do that one. I know where Porter's retreat is. Alright. That is all four jobs. Let's see if this guy's back. Dude, I don't care. Good job, the Pope. Nobody's in there. Alright, let's get out of here. That crap's annoying! You know what else is annoying? There we go. Do 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 do. I think, uh, sometimes you can run into slimes out here. I guess the idea is that. Oops, I didn't mean to leave, but whatever. I guess the idea is that they're, uh, oozing through the walls. Alright, is this the land? I hope this is the land. Yeah, all right. Dallin. Dallin. Right, I hope it was the innkeeper they wanted me to take this to. Innkeeper? Yeah, innkeeper. Ah, oh, come on, get out of my way. So Porter's Retreat, Golddale, and then Bolton. Porter's Retreat. I always forget where Porter's Retreat is, because it's very close to where the Inn of Blades is in my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh. I kind of would have preferred to not fight these right now. But whatever. Charge! Two! When I first played uh, this game for like the first time in my life, right? Um, 
Really? He failed to kill that? Are you kidding me? Uh, you know, you start in Fort Emergence, and uh, I went north out of Fort Emergence onto the surface was where I uh, I first took my steps. Uh, and right in that... Nice, Jack leveled up from that. Right in that little spot where you first come out of Fort Emergence and you're still kind of in the mountains is uh, where I encountered my first fight against, like, three slimes. It wasn't any of these purple ones, I remember that, but I think it was all the other colors. So, yeah, I still distinctively remember that because I had no idea how to play the game and was like, where's the tutorial? Why isn't it telling me what to do? In of Blades, okay. Yeah, we could just read the sign. In of Blades, alright, that doesn't help me. But I think... Okay. Well, now I'm not so sure. Goblins to the southeast. We will come back here and explore for the goblins, but I'm on a tight time schedule right now. Also, I want to be a little careful with where I'm going right now, because, uh... Porter's Retreat. There we go. Porter's Retreat, by the way, is a town filled with uh, various, like... Whoops. Not a town. It's like a... It's an inn, obviously. Who's this dude? Job? He's a map maker. Nah, I don't want to buy a map for this dude. Uh, there's a whole bunch of, like, storehouses in this town that'll trigger uh, alarms and try to go through them. But there's a decent amount of, like, gold ore and things like that. But you know what? While I'm here... Wrong building. Alright. Bam. There's the, uh, the trainer dude here, so I'll level my people up. Which is going to subtract from my gold pretty heavily. Zapope! Not bad! Not bad, Zapope! Alright, one there. Three there. One to strength, one to dex, and another spell point. Lizzie! Let's take Mage Lore up to 20, although I don't even know if that's overkill at the moment. Um, Lizzie's kind of solid right now. I'll put up two points into assassination and then one point into pull weapons. Kitty still needs help with the thrown missiles. Let me tell you, Kitty. Strength. Put a point into us, two points into assassination, just because you know why not? Why not? And another point into bashing weapons. Silvius already had an a point in assassination. Interesting. We'll just do it simple for Silvius. Jack. I kind of want Jack to be able to cast um, Bless, too. Unfortunately, he didn't have it. We'll give him one there, and we'll keep the other one for the next level. Spell points. Let's go up to 24. That's That should be three Blesses, if I remember correctly. And then we'll just go pull weapons, pull weapons, and then one point in defense. Or no. Defense. Eh. Dex. I don't care. Okay. So I just spent like 2.7k on that, which is sort of disappointing. Basically, it just erased all of my earnings from the uh, from doing the missions. Still, it's good that I did the missions, because otherwise I would have actually taken losses there, and that would have been worse. Alright, I think this is Bolton down here that I'm moving towards. No, that's Libris. Alright, let's hope that the next one is Bolton then. I think this is Bolton? Please be Bolton, because I'm going to have problems if this isn't Bolton. I do not want to fail. Oh, this isn't Bolton. Crap. Alright, well... We're going to do our buying here, and then we'll go back and try to find Bolton. Kind of ruins my plans a little bit, because I was, I was planning on ending the game after my shopping spree here. Alright, what do we got? Magic darts. Basic necklace? What does basic necklace do? Protection from acid. 
Protection from acid can be really good in the right situation. Magic Great Helm's not bad. Can pick that up. Bronze Ring of Regen. But no, we're not picking up any of that. And that's all kind of disappointing. Okay, you know what? I forgot I, I had a little trick. Yeah. When you uh when you push a like a hotkey to trigger like look or talk, uh, if you also just push an arrow key, it uses that ability on the uh, the tile that's nearest you essentially. In that direction. So if I stand right next to him and I talk, okay, there's nothing on this. Yeah, if I stand right next to him and I talk, cures disease. Nah. It will uh or if I push T. Here, I'll show you again. And then push right. It'll try to talk to whatever's in the tile right to my right. So I'll be able to talk to him. Alright, let me close this real quick. We could pick up the mithril for Gandalf. Yeah, let's just get the mithril out of the way. Gandalf, enjoy your new armor. Alright, and Gandalf, you don't need the robes anymore. Magic breastplate, magic gauntlets. Uh, resist poison disease. That's not really bad, either. Ring of fire resistance is a pretty solid choice. Let's get that for... Uh, we're only six-sided die. I rolled a two, which is Lizzie, who already has one, so let's try again. I rolled a three, so Kitty gets one. Uh, people can wear one neck piece and two rings, just for the record. Magic studded armor? No thanks. Wow, junk there. Magic great mace? I think, uh... No. Wait. Okay, we do already have a magic great mace. Magic flail, though. I... Is Kitty... Okay. Kitty, enjoy your new flail. And this guy... Alright, he does five, which is good. Gandalf, sell your robes for one gold. Alright, Kitty, enjoy your flail. Now we go... Helm of Alertness. If I remember correctly, Helm of Alertness keeps the user awake. Right. Helm of Speed. Occasionally casts speed. Do I want the Helm of Speed? I don't think I want the Helm of Speed. I can't decide if I want the Helm of Speed. Life Shield, yeah. When you would be killed, it keeps you alive. Which is pretty good if any of my people were going to ever use shields. I'm, I've never been a big shield fan, honestly. In pretty much any game, light rings, yet yeah, or light... Arrows of light. What did I am saying? They deal extra damage to demons. Pretty solid. Yeah, I've never been a big shield person, unless, obviously, the game wouldn't let me do otherwise. Shield of Clud and Shield of Clin. Clud creates a shock storm, and Clin blesses. Life shield. Oh, what a weird abundance of shields this guy has right now. Sadly, they don't serve me any purpose. Another magic flail for uh, Kitty, it looks like. Yep, that is what it looks like. Sell your uh, iron flail. Equip it. Now I'm gonna... He's gonna have something that's, like, amazing that I'm gonna desperately want, and I'm gonna have just under the amount of money I want for it. Hmm. Magic plate. Magic plate's expensive and heavy. So the fact that I couldn't afford that doesn't really bother me all that much. Sort of. Both cat. I don't remember what the deal is with the bow of cag, but apparently it's not all that great, so no big loss there. 
Blue gauntlets, bronze. Bummer. I mean, I'd prefer not to be here forever. If you know. Oh, look, another magic flail. Nice. Dancing boots. This pair of exceptionally heavy leather boots reinforced with little bits of steel. Sometimes when you go to move, instead of moving, you stand still and dance. Ooh, gold ring of protection. Alright, we'll buy that for somebody. Rolling a six-sided die. I rolled a six. Gandalf doesn't really need a gold ring of protection, though. I think the gold ring of protection should probably go on somebody else. So I'm going to roll again, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, I rolled a three this time. So Kitty? Kitty's already ringed out. Dude. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, I rolled a one that time. Alright. I'm going to save here while we're at it, just because, you know, I've actually had some good uh, buys. Another magic plate. I think Emerald Helm has a, like, targeted poison effect on it, if I remember correctly. I never use any of those things. Wand of Vorb is awesome, by the way. Ring of Warmth gives cold resistance. Cold is relatively uncommon, so I don't usually get cold resistance. Yeah, Wand of Vorb uh, just deals... At least I think Wand of Orb. Control S, talk. Wand of Orb. Huh. I don't know what Wand of Orb does. Whatever. And I don't care enough to walk outside of town and then get into a battle and try to use it. So we will just never know. Another Ring of Fire Resistance? I'm not going to buy that. I have enough rings of fire resistance, I think, at this point in time. Helm of Alertness would prevent your people from uh, falling asleep, if I remember correctly. Wand of Death is not a bad thing to have. Cast the Kill Spell. Kill Spell is really damn... Ooh, an infinite arrow. No, he has the arrows. I think it's, it's fine for now. Dart of Returning is uh, a reusable dart. Unfortunately, darts are kind of crap in the first place. Dude, alright, so how long are we going to be here until I run into an item that I want? I guess I just got to lower my standards. Giant glove. Oh, I don't have the money for giant gloves? Ah, uh, Giant gloves give a huge uh, boost to strength. I didn't realize I don't have the money for them, though. That's annoying. Because they were kind of the item that I wanted the most right now. Like, if you'd asked me before I started doing this which item I would be happiest about, it was those. Gold bar. Oh, I'm really disappointed. Really disappointed. What's Crystal Shield do? Protect from stoning, right. That sometimes is worth having for certain areas that you know you're getting into. There are uh, monsters called Basilisks that have a look at you, turn you into stone ability. Lifesaver amulet will save you your person's life if they die, but it only works once. Much like the Life Shield. Although it's still a good item to have. Alright. Maybe we'll just buy nothing, and we'll come back later. Alright, so I'm gonna go find Bolton, is my plan. Where's the... there we go. Lost the cursor. We're gonna go find Bolton, and then I guess I'll end the video at Bolton. I really thought Bolton was here, but uh, I'm, I'm almost... I'm pretty positive I know where Bolton is. Pretty positive. I hope. You know, I should go try those, uh, try to fight those Ursaga again. Ugh. Alright, this is Bolton, I'm pretty sure. Bolton. We're good. My question is, I forgot all about this dude.
Kitty? Oh, yeah, kitty. Good job, my friend. Alright, I'm pretty sure it's not this person. Nope. Just based off the fact that that person didn't even have a name. Nor did that one. Are you Weaponsmith? No, you've got a real name, but still, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, Bolton's a weird town. I forgot all about Bolton. Sick. Alright, folks. Uh, I don't want to join the... Yeah, let's talk to her about the Nama real quick. We preach the dangers of magic. We are based on the Isle of Brigale. Brigale. Just look around. Magical creatures slay us, forcing us into hiding at every turn. Unless something is done about these, this, these problems will get worse before they get better. If this idea intrigues you, my church can be found on the Isle of Brigale. All right, folks, I will end my recording here. Uh, next time, I'll go check out those goblins. I'll go check out those Ursagi. And maybe we'll go clear out that cave full of uh, Slitherzerk eyes, too. Depends. But for now, time's over.